problem two. Tell whether the set of order pairs form a linear function. To do this, we need to make a t-chart and make sure the x and y values have a constant rate of change. So I'll make a t-chart. I'll put x on the left and y on the right. My x values are negative 10, negative 9.9, .9, negative 9.8, and negative 9.7. Those values are getting smaller by a value of negative 0.1, or actually a positive 0.1. They're increasing by one tenth. Our y values are 3, 4.5, 6, and 7.5. Those values are also increasing, but by 1.5. Since both x and y have a constant rate of change, it forms a linear function. Now then, let's do the charts on number three. Fill in the tables to make them linear. If you notice here, the x values are increasing by four. I'm just going to keep adding four. This will be 15, 19, and the next one would be 23. The y values are increasing by three, aren't they? So we could go backwards. 10 minus three is seven, and 19 plus three is 22. Over here are x tables. This is a most uh, used set of domain. It's your 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we need to find our y values. The difference here is 12. Half of 12 is 6. So our constant rate of change is going to be 6. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. 20 plus 6 is 26. And 26 plus 6 is 32. To get to the 0 number, 8 minus 6 would be 2. Let's go over here. This constant rate of change is 8, so we're just going to keep adding 8 to go down. 12, 20, 28, 36, and 44 would work. Right here, we have a difference of 3, so our y values will differ by 3. 1, 4, 7, 10, and negative 2. If you subtract 3, you would go to negative 5. Right here, our x values are increasing by 4. So I'm just going to keep adding 4, 15, 19, and it would work out to 23. And lastly, 10, 13, 16, 19, this would be 22, and this would be 7.